the UDIRC UDI001, which is the Venom. So, in the box, you do get a pretty nice instruction manual. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, a warning. So, be sure to read that. Here we have a USB charger, a nose cone for the boat, a really nice looking transmitter, foam padded steering wheel there, and then all the trim is up here. You have throttle trim, high and low, and then you have your steering trim left and right. And then here is the on and off button, and then it does take four AA batteries. In this little pack here, we have a stand to put the boat on and then one spare propeller so it comes with 7.4 volt 600 milliamp hour battery so here is the boat it comes in two different colors it comes in black and orange it also comes orange and black Okay, so we made it and I love this place in the morning. You have no wind. It's like a sheet of glass. It just looks awesome. And these are perfect conditions to run this boat, which I love this backpack. This boat fits right in the backpack, almost like it was made to carry a boat, but really it's probably just made to carry a water bottle. So yeah, let's get this UDI Venom in the water and see how well it does. So before we get in the water, we have to get our battery in. So you just clip it in right there like that and then plug it in. So this is a 370 brushed motor and then it's liquid cooled with this tubing here, it goes and it wraps around the motor. So it pulls the water in there and then goes around the motor, cools it down and then discharges it out the side of the boat. So if you notice that the water is not discharging out of here while you're running the boat on the water, then you probably have a blocked line somewhere and then your motor could overheat so i would somehow try and clean out these ends here so we have the steering servo there for the rudder now we're all plugged in we're ready to go there is no on and off switch on these boats you see this little metal thing here that's if your boat's upside down which this does have a self riding so we're going to try that out but this little metal thing here is a ground so if your boat is upside down it's touching the water that's what turns their boat on and same right here, there is a little metal ground right there. So as soon as your boat touches water, it engages the boat. And turn the power on on the transmitter. And we have a flashing light there, so it is looking for the boat. Now this is kind of shallow here. I hope it, hope I, hope this rudder doesn't hit the, the bottom. Oh, there, did you hear that? As soon as I put it in the water, it made that beep, beep, beep. So, that means the boat is on. Yep. And it looks like my steering is, the rudder's off just a little bit. So we're gonna straighten that out. Oh man, we make a right turn, it like, goes up on the on the rails like that oh my steering is off just a little bit let's go to the left a little more and really hard right turns So there is your left turn, that's fully fully to the left. And yeah, the right turns are up. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I just torpedoed this thing right under the water. 
let's give it a check here and see how much water we have inside the boat. Oh, I'm out of the water. Now the controller is searching for the, the boat. Let's turn this off so it's... Oh, man. Well, this is pretty water tight because I, I had it under the water for a couple seconds and uh, there's there's no water in it. So that that's pretty good. I want to take it out a little bit further. Okay, let's turn this back on. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, we are in the water and we have some battery. So let's, ooh. It's drifting to the left there a little, but we'll just keep correcting it. So they estimate that this goes about 15 miles an hour and Although I don't have a GPS on it, I would say that's not too far off. So I was pretty far out there. I don't want to go too far because I really don't want to rescue this boat. But right now I'm roughly a hundred feet out or so. And I'm going a little bit further there. Okay, so you hear that beeping? That tells you you are getting out of range. So that does work. It also has a low voltage detection too. So if it does start running low on the battery, it should give you enough time to get it back. Ooh, bottomed out. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. But we still have the rudder on, so that's good. And yep, we know we're out of water. thing it has is it does have reverse although reverse on boats is kind of pointless but it does have it also oh we never checked the self writing so let's check the self writing I just filmed a little montage unfortunately I only have one battery so let's check the self writing let's put it upside down and okay yep we still have we still have a uh, power to it. So what you do with the self riding is you turn really hard to the right or the left and you just keep rocking it. There we go. You just keep rocking the throttle back and forth. And uh, that's how you flip back over. And get yourself self back. Let's do that again. Turn all the way. Let's turn to the, we'll turn to the left. Yeah, see that was pretty quick there. So as I was filming my little montage here, the low battery alarm did go off. Let's see if this low battery alarm comes back on. We'll go out here and just uh, just rip around a little bit. I'm not gonna go too far out. Just so, uh oh, I went through some grass there. I think I, I think I might have caught something on my rudder because it. Doesn't really want to go too well. Yep, there's some grass. <laughs> there, that's better. So hopefully that low battery alarm comes back on because it should. Oh, there it is. There's the low battery alarm. So it does have a low battery alarm and it does obviously work bring it in here so we did a range test on it and let's make this quiet here we did a range test on it got pretty far out I'd say maybe 150 feet maybe a little further the range test was pretty good and it told me when I was getting too far away told me when the battery was getting low the self riding works on it flipped right over you have throttle trim you have steering trim I mean, all in all, this boat is a pretty good boat and it moves at a decent speed too. Like, comment, subscribe, but I hope to see you with the next Ready to Run RC.